And welcome back. It's time for this week's Capital Report with Pat McGuigan of CapitalBOK.com. Uh, Pat, uh, the apology issued by the uh, former OU SAE student uh, to members of the black community was a big story uh, this week. Give us some quick reflections on that. Well, it certainly seemed to be heartfelt and sincere. He had responded to the offer of Senator Anastasia Pittman of the East Side, Northeast Oklahoma City, uh, a veteran of local uh, politics and leadership, to meet with not only politicians, uh, but with uh, religious leaders and uh, veterans of the civil rights movement. Apparently he did and uh, was a very affected by it. Uh, he didn't seem like the most polished person to speak in front of cameras and I don't say that to be critical, it actually gave it some authority. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have to give it up to him for being willing to issue such a passionate uh, set of words of apology and I hope that and I pray that indeed he can spend the rest of his life seeking the good in others and seeking the good in people that maybe have had different life experiences. Uh, I was struck by Pastor Reed of Fairview Baptist Church and his willingness to extend that forgiveness uh, that we would all seek uh, in any such a terrible moment uh, as well as Senator Pittman and the others. So. I think we're a long ways from the day where even under the law, let alone uh, in our daily lives, people are really judged by what Martin Luther King wanted, which was to, for people to be judged by the content of their character, not the color of their skin. What I saw this past week in that exchange among those people, all of them, was some hope that uh, maybe out of something bad, something good could come, like Mike Shelton said a few weeks ago he hoped could be the case. So it takes a uh, power of love to exercise the power of forgiveness, and I think that's what we saw. And some that's courage what's on, needed. Some courage from both sides yeah. there, yeah. Um, okay, now we are both participating uh, in the Society of Professional Journalists, SPJ's Region 8 conference this weekend. You devote some of your own analysis and uh, media criticism uh, and commentary to this. What is your assessment of the present state of the industry? It's a very important topic and all the things that are being discussed uh, at, the, at the forum this weekend, Society of Professional Journalists for Region 8, which is basically this part of the country in Texas. Um, is very important and on that question I think we're in a very challenged time. I see a lot of uh, shouting on television, um, uh, opinion commentary shouted at each other uh, rather than reasoned discourse and it's given the mask of news. It's no wonder that respect and trust for the, for the profession is slipping but I don't, I still don't think that's necessarily typical of the profession but I think that's the way people perceive uh, the profession that we're both in. Newspapers are very challenged. Internet continues to drive the challenge and the declining of resources for news, and yet there's an increase of resources for entertainment. I think the profession of journalism is needed more than ever for the sake of our country, including in instances like we were discussing earlier. So I hope we can get it right and uh, take, help to take the country forward because the country needs us. Couldn't agree with you more. All right, well, you can read more about these and other topics at capitalbeatok.com. Pat McGuigan and Alex Cameron, have a good day.